here, Professor, for inviting me to come here to give a speech. And today I'm going to share some tips and thoughts about how to find a perfect job. And this topic is not about me, it's about yourself. So I hope you guys can enjoy this uh, talk and I hope you guys can have some thoughts after this speech and maybe give you some feedback. And um, so let me ask some quick question. Have you find your internship yet? None, none. So when you have to find one? Before June 1st. Before June 1st. Oh, before the vacation. <laughs> Two months. Okay, so I think uh, the schedule might be a little bit tight, but it's okay because you've got plenty of time to think about what you want to do in the future. So, am I loud enough for the bit of the students? Can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So, uh, my name is Mallory. And yeah, just as the teacher said, I am the first generation. Uh, generation. First generation. Generation in the uh, program. And do you know what the initial name of our program is? Oh. <laughs> it's very long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Super really? long. No. So what's your program now? It's not my decision, Mark, right? School wanted. We don't want to change, but the school wanted us
don't know what you want to be in the future or what you want to find an internship in the future. But it's okay. Because when I was in your age, your uh, junior, I don't know either. Because um, it seems like it's very far away, right? Like, even though you have to find it in two months, but for a long term, you think job after two years, then I can think about it. Yeah, after two years, that's So I just hope that at least you start to think about your future and you have some vision about what you want to be in the future. So as for me, I, uh, I am a freshman. I start to think about what I want to be, like maybe four years after I graduate. So I think um, ex um, expect these courses, I can learn about a lot of communication skills or a lot of like presentation skills or whatever. I want to join another group so I can improve myself. So I join the, I don't know whether it is X6 or not, have you ever know, you guys know it? Yes. So, I learned something from it. Do we have any? I don't think so. No. No. Yeah. Okay. So, so you guys think about what you want to be and what you love. What about me? What I think about when I find the job. So these three kind of topic is what I am very valued about. Mm -hmm. The first one is position and location and the culture. And I'll explain it one by one. So first, position. Uh, I want to use this picture because I think your life is like a game. You have your goal and you have your vision. So you might think about what your next step is. So I think internship is not only BM can. This is an opportunity for you to know what you can do and what you can have your ability in the future. So that's your experience. And just like you said about it, yeah, do what you are curious about. So you will know whether you can fit in, whether you love it. And the third one is, even though there are tons of internship jobs don't pay you, like mine, I don't have any uh, payment, mm -hmm. but you still love it. So my experience is I uh, do this uh, graphic designer yeah, for my internship. Uh, why? Because my uh, well, you can speak Chinese, okay? Good. Because, I'm so sorry. Can you please understand? That's okay. I'm just curious. It's his English. Uh, his Chinese is very good. super good. Yeah. I appreciate it. Okay. So, uh, why do I go to the interview and why do I go to the interview? 是因为我在大学的时候我很想要念设计系但是我父母愿意让我去读原因是什么呢因为我姐姐她读了建筑系然后超的要死所以我爸妈就说你不准你不准超的要死所以呢我也就来到这边然后我也觉得这边的系也很
work. So, but um. 比较难的是，我是这个是自己学的，因为电绘这件事情，我之前没有体验过。然后，呃，设计一个比较有商业概念的事情，就像 CI 设计，它是认为是一个公司的品牌很重要的东西嘛。那这也是我初次体验到的。然后 banner 啊，还有活动宣传图是之前虽然在社团有体验过。可是我还是有稍微学到一点东西。那我学到了什么呢？就是第一个是自学嘛。你去一个公司，你一定，你一定一定不会运用到现在学校教的东西。我认真。<笑>虽然就是可能 PPT 什么，然后写报告什么的，但这些都是你的软实力。但他们主要用的那些真的能生产出东西的东西，呃，事情的话，都是要靠你自己去学的。那如果有公司很愿意带你，我觉得非常好。可是很不幸，也不是不幸，就是我自己选择的这间公司是一个小小的新创公司。大家有对新创有概念吗 ？Start up， yeah， start up。那它的话就是运用了，它的员工就是很少，然后你就是自己做中学的这种概念。那第二个，我为什么会说是商业设计？就是我刚刚说。像这种 banner 啊，或者活动宣传图，你其实上面每一个资讯都非常的重要。你不是无缘无故的放一个爱心上去，你不是无缘无故放一个什么 logo 上去，在上面的东西就等于钱。对，你要去设计的东西，都是要想过为什么要有这个东西存在。然后像 CI 设计也是一个公司的形象，它会。呃，在意的部分是你的 target audience 是谁？你的 TA， 你的顾客，消费者。那你要去想，比方说这个公司它的 TA， 我假设可能是，呃，像 persona 来说，就是一个，她是一个二十五岁的年轻女生，赚了三万到六万的薪水，然后养了两只小猫咪、小狗狗，可是平常一到五都要上班。六日又要去照顾家人，这种类似这种 persona， 你把它建立出来之后，你就知道你的 target audience 是谁